If you work in a legal practice, you've probably seen your share of these. Binders. No matter how much talk there is about going paperless, sometimes, and for some people, you all know who you are, it's just easier to review a set of printed documents. And if you're putting documents into a binder, you probably need some way to organize them, an index, and some lettered or numbered tabs to divide them. Here's how I do it. Because I work mostly in commercial litigation, a lot of the binders I produce are for litigation documents, document productions, exhibits to motions or for trial, etc. But what I'm going to demonstrate here is equally applicable to transactional documents, like closing documents or corporate formation papers. If you've got lettered or numbered tabs in your binder, you could do one of two things. Either list the letter or number first and the description after, or list the description first and the letter or number of the tab after. If you're doing that first method, the easiest way to do it is to use automatic paragraph numbering from the Home tab. Just pick your preferred numbering or lettering scheme from the multi-level list drop-down menu. Once you've chosen your numbering scheme, you can make some adjustments to the indentation and between paragraph spacing to give your index a more aesthetically pleasing look. Just select the paragraphs and click the Launcher arrow in the Paragraph Command group of the Home tab to go to the Paragraph dialog box. From there you can change the line spacing, enter paragraph spacing. I usually like to put 6 or 12 points of space between entries and indentation. I like to use hanging indents in this context. Click OK when you've got everything set up the way you want it. By the way, if you want a fuller tutorial on setting up and using automatic paragraph numbering, check out the webinar linked above or in the description below. Personally, I prefer the second method because I think the dot leader just looks nice. It takes a little more setup time, though. First, I need to reset the tabs to facilitate having the tab number or letter hanging out at the right margin with the dot leader leading up to it. Again, I'll click on the Launcher arrow in the lower right-hand corner of the Paragraph Command group of the Home tab to open the Paragraph dialog box. In the lower left-hand corner, click Tabs to open up the Tabs dialog box. To get the tab number or letter to appear on the right-hand side of the page, I set a tab stop at 6.5 inches. Since I'm using a U.S. standard 8.5 by 11 letter size page, with 1 inch margins, and set it to right alignment with a dot leader. Once I click Set to set that tab stop, I can click OK and then return to the Paragraph dialog box. From there, I can set up the spacing and indentation as before. Now when I type in a document description, I can press Tab afterward, and a dot leader will appear which takes my cursor all the way to the right margin, where I can type a letter or number of the tab corresponding to that document. If I don't want the first or subsequent lines of a long description to hover too close to the right-hand margin, I can place my cursor somewhere in that line and use a soft return, shift, enter, to create a soft line break that doesn't start a new paragraph. Now that I have the tab stops, indentation, etc. already set up, I can go down and make multiple entries for the rest of the binder. So which style of binder index do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in some more in-depth training on using Word's automatic paragraph numbering feature, check out this webinar on creating your own customized reusable list style. Thanks for watching.